Yo, what's the deal? In the Trenches Podcast, man, we back in this thing with another one, you feel me? Got my dog, No Name 3.0 in this bitch. What it do? What's that word, man? How you been, my brother? Oh, man, you know, slow motion. Yeah, that slow is- motion better than no motion. That's right. What's good? What's good with you? Uh, nothing much, man. Uh, been a lot going on, man. Where yeah, do we start? Uh, you know what I'm saying? As, as always, man. I don't know where to start, man. You know, go ahead. All right. Uh, I want to let a little time pass for a minute. You know, you should be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess we can start yeah. with YB. Can hey. you? Yeah. Yeah, I can. yeah, I guess we can start with YB here. With who? Young boy. Oh, yeah. Arrested again. Yeah, so NBA young boy taking into custody in Utah on various drug charges and fraud charges. That's crazy because I've been seeing him like on the viral, viral. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear my shit, man? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, he going on a downward spiral, man. And uh, I remember he took a picture laying next to a bunch of pills and shit. Yeah, uh, I seen one where he had a bunch of pills on his tongue and shit. Yeah, 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 man. Um, yeah, he going through it, man. I think I think young boy got a lot of mental health issues that he need to address. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And it, and it ain't no and it ain't no bad thing for my, for people to get help. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not a bad thing. Most black people don't want to get help. Most black people think it make them look weak or whatever. But, you know, sometimes motherfuckers really be needing that shit. Yeah, man. Bud don't be enough sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so so what uh, what do you get caught with? Um, okay. His charges is attempting to procure drugs in a different identity. Basically, Calling the doctor, describing his voice to be somebody else. Oh, getting the scripts. Trying to trying to get the scripts. Yeah. And um, the yeah, drug them with the drug and fraud charges. So when I guess when they hit his crib, I don't know if they found some pistols, but oh yeah, it's possession it. of a dangerous weapon. Yeah, man. He might be in a little trouble with his record, man. Yeah, so what do you think they're going to do with him, man? Definitely going to jail, man. He going to jail. And, yeah. and sometimes ain't nothing wrong with going to jail. You know what I'm saying? When you I fucked up. With that. It's always something wrong with going to jail. I mean, I mean not like that. But... but so, some, like when I went to jail, like sometime and one of my times in my life, I got locked up. I needed that some time to myself to reflect on shit on what I really need to do. Yeah, you know, jail can put now. One thing I can say, jail will put you on the right track. You know, sure. some people it work. It worked for some people. You feel what I'm saying? It might. It might work for him. Cause he's leaving a lot of money. These 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 rappers be leaving a lot of money on the table and shit when they getting in all this trouble. Fucking up, you fucking up millions, man. Yeah, for what though? You feel me? For some pills. So so, let's say this: the past two rappers that they got a tour with the next two times got booked. Honeycomb Brazy and YB. Yeah. Do you think now I, I don't think Finesse had nothing to do with it, but ain't it a coincidence? It is a coincidence that 
right when they got into the beef, niggas started getting arrested and shit. That's kind of crazy. Right. It's kind of crazy, man. Like, but go ahead. You know, could you, you think that they, they could have got in trouble for for um like you know for you know them people following finesse two times around anyway. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, so maybe they might have got caught up in the cross of that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah, probably. Ain't no talent. Like, you know, like, they watching him, and then they see some niggas that's on him. You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, some shit like that. I don't know. Well, so let's get up on these niggas. Let's start watching these niggas. Yeah, some, yeah, type shit. Yeah, I don't know, man, but I fuck with YB, man. I hope he, uh, you know, find a better way, you feel me, to, to do what he doing. I mean, his career just started two, two, three years ago. Yeah, I mean, even though he been up, but like really popping, getting money, like you know, some rich nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. And that little nigga got that bag too, though, man. Yeah. Nigga, and I don't understand it. Like, let us would have had an opportunity like that, man. Man, I ain't finna mess that bag up. But you know what? Think about shit, how wild we was when we was, you know, when we was doing our thing. Imagine, imagine that 10 times. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it crazy. Mean, it, wouldn't got, it wouldn't have got too crazy, though. You feel me? It wouldn't have got too crazy. No, nah, because like we, like was different, we was some different type of niggas, man. Yeah. Yeah. See, when the ladies leave us, man, they they want to come back, man. They they don't they don't have a bad experience, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it don't never be that. We would never have that problem, right? For sure. I, I never in my life really had smoke over no chick. You feel me arguing on the internet? Oh man, that ain't my style, man. I like to make the chicks comfortable, man. So yeah, man, we pray for YB, man. Uh, hopefully he could come from up under this, man, with 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 a little bit of time. You feel me? Hopefully he'll plan it. You feel me? So another story. Let's talk about your man real quick. Dog face. Almost got hit with the vehicle or homicide. Yeah, yeah. Fucking around in the A, huh? Yeah, so uh I guess some niggas might have ran down on him or something. Mm. Oh where his vehicle family struck the man in the freeway earlier. Oh, they tried to carjack the nigga. Yeah. Yeah, and he took off on him. Yeah, I would have did the same shit. Hell yeah. Run you niggas over. Yeah. Yeah, y'all bad, you feel me? Sometimes yeah, man. That's Sometimes that's what you get when you uh trying to jack a motherfucker. You feel me? Don't always go like you thought it was gonna go. Yeah, it'd be like instant karma or some shit. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, <laughs> um, you know he he was freed on all charges. Uh, he wasn't charged with nothing. So, man, the crazy part is this nigga was driving with us. Look like an old school, like a crown dick or I think it was a regal, wasn't it? Uh, it was an old school, I know that. It's an old school, but damn, my nigga can't have nothing. Hell no. Nah. That's the craziest thing, man. Like, I'm having fun. I'm in y'all city, man. And y'all try to ride me. But dog they do be kicking up a lot of dust on that internet. You feel me? Yeah, he do. 
So, so you just never, you know, motherfucker be watching that shit, and then they see you in person, they want to test that shit out, nigga. All that shit you talk. Yeah, you know them Atlanta niggas could be grinding too. What are you gonna say? Yeah, yeah, they try to turn the snow. Yeah, you. They trying to get. They could have got big money for that old school. They like we gotta have it. Man, they they try they occur to snow you. Yeah, really? yeah, man, but that that goes to show when you moving how you moving and you really not a regular guy, you gotta have some security, man. Yeah. But I was gonna I ask care. you I was gonna ask you about that story. I was gonna uh do you think that that's karma coming to him from all the shit that he you know, all the shit that he kick on the internet? Uh, it could be, but I wouldn't expect it to be in the A. I more or less expect it to be in the city. You feel me? Right. Because he just had little shit uh, situation with stretch money and a whole bunch of other rappers for that matter. Yeah. But I'm going to say Dogface is the city whack 100. You know what I'm saying? I can go for that. That, that, that That's that's uh that's spot on, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> spot on, man. Because he don't stop, man. No, he don't stop. Uh, he going that. He's still on. West 100 still on line right now. Getting into it with uh, Spider Low. Yeah. You remember him, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so he just caught a phase. He been begging for a fade. And uh shit, I think he got he got beat up. Who spider low? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, uh it, oh man. <laughs> Who is that no way? Kidding. Yeah. On the phone, on the phone, laying on this carpet. Yep, just how he was in that picture. Uh, they took the fade down. Damn, man, YB facing 63 charges. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. 63 charges is crazy, man. Yeah, they're going to try to get that nigga 45 years in the joint. Yeah, so with respect to Wack 100, though, do you think he need to relax, though? Like, the things that he's doing, he really don't need to do. You know? I mean, to Keep calling you, big you. To tell you the truth, man, I mean, to be in the position he in, man, he got to keep the juice coming. That's what he do. You feel what I'm saying? So, shit. The messier, the better. You know what I mean? I mean, like, for what he do, he's a messy nigga. So, the messier, the better. Right. Right. But I, it's going to get him fucked up. You know, if somebody get he get in the right position, they get their hands on him. Just like uh, Charles. <coughs> same thing. Or Mimo 600. Yeah, same thing. Motherfuckers get their hands on him. Because he be doing a lot of shit. He be trolling with his homies, though. Me, my 600, he didn't chill a lot, though. Yeah, you ain't just here today. The he nigga just got down he, on him. He used to be worse than that. Yeah, and I gave to really respect me, my dog. Straight up. He, you know, he's pushing, he pushing peace in his own right. You feel what I'm saying? Like he 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 had been on that before even Jay Main and them started. You know what I mean? Yeah, he decided that when he decided to apologize to Mama Duck. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, he just said, "Hey, my mama lost her son too. So who am I to keep going at this woman, knowing I didn't see my mama?" So he know the pain. he know the pain he know what she was feeling because he had to watch his mama go through that. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, um, man. So let's dive into this real quick. 
Man, first, let's go into the Drake, Kendrick. Who else in this beat? Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole. This how you feel about that whole beat, bro. Man, it, it, it kind of took me by surprise, man. Like, it came out of nowhere. And um, it's crazy. I, I, I really, you know, I'm waiting on some, some get back because Kendrick went crazy. Right, so you got me. I mean, uh, not me, Neil, but uh, Gilly the Kid say the bars. Well, this ain't this ain't rap battle compared to compared to Pop hit him up or Nas Ether. He said niggas got to come. Niggas got to come with the heat, man. I mean. I mean, we talking for this damn time, man. I mean, the records wasn't as big as those records, but it was it was some hell of a shit said, man. That was a, that was a nice verse he spit. Who oh, Kendrick? Yeah, I, I mean, I felt it like on some new age shit, you know, like you know, baby. yeah, like yeah, yeah. So <laughs> like, so like you know, the old the older. This tracks was good for their time. You know what I'm saying? They did what they did. But like this is some new age shit. New beats, new production, new new lyrics. Like he did his thing, man. And I ain't taking shit from uh J. Cole and Drake either, because I heard they shit. And they, yeah, shit, they shit was straight, but it just wasn't like Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick Burke had more power, like Yeah, the delivery of it, you felt it. Yeah, the delivery, right. So, how you feel about J. Cole apologize? That's not hip hop. Yeah, that's not hip hop. Yo, yo, net, yo, what you were supposed to, yo, comeback was supposed to be lyrics, man. You were supposed to, you were supposed to come back with some other, some shit. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to come back with some shit. Like you don't go apologize, and that shit is crazy. Like you soft as hell for that. <laughs> you soft as hell for that. Like you know what I'm saying. I like J Cole. I ain't taking shit from him. You know, for he's a hell of a lyricist. But you saw for that. That ain't that ain't hip hop. You know. And um, far as that go though, like the the beef, like far as that go, I like it. I like what it did for hip hop. Because ain't nothing wrong with a friendly battle as long as y'all don't take it too far. You know, and niggas start dying and shit. I like it. I like what it's doing for hip-hop. Yeah, it's bringing niggas outside, man. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all y'all keep doing this, we'll see who the real number one is. we see who the real king is. Right. You know? So, Drake hit him with the AI, Tupac, Snoop, and Drake. You heard that one? No, I ain't heard that yet. You ain't heard that? You you talking about the diss track that Drake did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Oh, so you did hear it? Yeah. Okay. Um, but how do you feel about that? Uh like I said, man, it was it was I mean, it was good. It was good. I liked it. But once I heard Kendrick, man, I kind of like, I kind of like put their verses on the back burner, you know. After I heard Kendrick and my man apologize, I really ain't even listening to that they, they verses no more. Damn. <laughs> you know, they, they took the fun out of it. J Cole took the air out of the whole thing, man. Drake just came. With some shit. You let my fucking style move. That boy had Tupac and Snoop on the track. You hear me? Yeah. Tupac and Snoop on the track. He used AI version. And and, did, and he rapped it, but it was they voice it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that's sweet, nah, but. <laughs> Suge Knight don't respect that shit. He said, don't be using the pocket, no pine. That nigga was a king. You feel me? Yeah. You, 
you try to use the most famous motherfuckers you can to come back. You know what I'm saying? That nigga didn't do all that. He he was just on the track with Future and Metro. Uh, who was he on there with? Future? Future. Uh, Met, uh, no, Metro Boomer made the beat. Future and... Uh, shit, I don't know. His verse, so... Yeah, I think I think it was just him and Future. Uh, so no, it was him. Future was what was Kanye on that? No, Kanye made a remix though. Did you hear that? That was yeah, crazy. I heard that. Ooh, these boys showing out, man! I love, it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so so what about Chris Breezy, man? That was my next. I was about to go into that next, man. Go ahead, I, man. Go into that, man. His shit fucked up. I think his shit might have fucked up Kendrick's. Yeah. Woo, that nigga went hard, bro. I ain't know. I ain't know he did that. I thought he was just yeah. a singer, nigga, man. Dance, man. I knew he had bars, but he he came. He came. Pause. No I don't know what I don't know what Quavo did. So what's that beef about? That's what I want to know. Uh, that's over. That's over the tick. Alright, all right, here, here go Quavo shit. Quavo came back. Nigga, oh, that's some real street shit. Back to the industry. Yeah. Where your baby mama said no, they got plenty to me. Fuck that. Pussy, every time you see me, keep that energy. Keep that energy. Can't believe I gotta beat you by some women. Bitch. I got your hoe for pussy. I hit your hoe for pussy. I did the favor, come in to save you, but you gon' owe me pussy. I'm on the edge, don't push me. You rip with the fans, you pussy. Come in and come in and did no talking. Make it, we know that you pussy. No, that's take off, boy. That's take off. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Ooh. That nigga so ne don't never bring up tape, nigga. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, these boys coming out sad, but this beef might get this beef might get carried on to a different level because it's over a female. You feel me? Yeah. So it's personal. I see that one personal. So you know it might turn into something. Huh? I said that's personal. So yeah, it could. It, it's more than hip hop. It, it could turn into something else. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, Chris Breezy, my nigga, man, but you got to remember who you dealing with sometimes, man. Them Georgia niggas are something different. Yeah, but Chris Breezy cut like that, though, man. He'd go, up with a, he'd go head up with a nigga pause. Yeah, 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 for sure. Back Look at some damn with my drink. You been fucked your bag up when you punch Ree in the face. Come out you gonna punch me in my face. It ain't never a fade. You know you lost the Oh yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. So that's his bitch, right? Uh they beefing over Karuchi and Sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's sick to me, man, because they sitting back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they sitting back like they getting clout off this shit too. But these niggas looking goofy. Yeah, that's, that's what I think for real. Keep it on wax though. Keep it on wax. Yeah. Keep it on wax, man. Fuck all that, you know. Motherfuckers. Yeah, just keep it on wax, man. Cause I like what it's doing, like I say, man. That shit is it's hyping me up. Yeah, for sure, man. So so tell me how you feel about that fight, man. Ooh, now nah, I was hyped about that shit too. 
But, you know, going into that shit, I had Haney. I mean, yeah, I had Haney, right? I mean, pretty much the whole time. But, like, I wanted to stick with my, uh, I, I, stick, I stuck with my pick. But, like, dog came out kicking my man ass from the jump. Man, that boy had spaghetti legs. Yeah, man, Ryan Garcia wasn't bullshitting with that boy, man. So, this this is him after the fight, though. He playing too much. Yeah, did you see him when he said he was smoking on a Devin? Smoking on a yeah, Devin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, that was, yeah, man, that was crazy, man. That was, it was, it was very entertaining, man. But, but it was one-sided. Yeah, I was at the bar watching that shit, man. Sipping on a little ram, man. You know what I'm saying with the people and shit. It so was a say, nice time. So you say you took the Mexican off jump? Off jump. Uh, off that's jump. Cra- that's crazy. You said that, man. <laughs> man, you would have won big money, man. In Vegas. Man, I was trying to bet, man. Everybody was bullshit. Motherfuckers were undecided. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, I went with the Mexican off the jump. Yeah. Just yeah. because I seen that nigga punch somebody on his Instagram. Like, I followed <laughs> him on Instagram, and he hit this motherfucker in the stomach. Man, that boy damn near died. And he had a pad on him, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was, yeah, that, yeah. Left, that left hook was a motherfucker, man. I don't think dog could see it coming. He was throwing it so fast. Man, made that boy. <laughs> that boy, man, he he got caught in some of the most compromising positions for getting punched. You feel me, like? Yeah. I mean, the man had him out there really looking crazy, man. He had him out there looking crazy. Yeah, he did, man. I I, I don't appreciate that from that young brother, man. <laughs> Didn't he get beat in his last fight too? I ain't hip, man. I don't even really know Young Dog like that. I'm waiting on that Tyson and Jake Paul or whoever. Yeah, that's going to be a good one, too. Yeah, I'm waiting on that fight, man. Uh, Man, so let's go into this shit, man, real quick, man. Because it's still popping. It's still an ongoing story. It didn't got a little quiet though, but what you think they trying to do with P. Diddy? I seen something this morning talking about they arrested P. Diddy for murder. I was like, oh shit. Clickbait. Yeah, like a motherfucker, dog. Yeah. But so, what you think? And then they got a little quiet now. Yeah, man. You know, uh, the feds just sitting back doing their homework, seeing if they really got something on it. That's all. I don't think they. I don't think they really got shit on him for real. I don't either. I mean, yeah. the trafficking, human trafficking. That's a bit. That's that's a bit far going too far. Like, yeah, but I ain't human trafficking. I'm calling them. I'm spending the money. You're right. Exactly. So I'm doing the tricking. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna stick. Um, unless he got some. Somebody to come out with some facts. Ain't shit up. I mean, you know, ain't, and they can prove it. He can forget it, man. I mean, they can forget it. Right. So, did you see uh, the feds that's competing on him and who the fuck else? Pete Diddy. Damn. And somebody else, I forgot. Them niggas get subpoenaed to the Keefe D trial. Oh, he got testifying the Keefe D trial? Yeah. Oh, him and Suge Knight. Suge said he wasn't testifying. Right. <laughs> he ain't testifying. But, uh, so really, did he? They really want to holler at Diddy? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, uh, him, and, him and should. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. You feel me? 
Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? That's what I was like, damn. And, and this ain't fake news. I've been seeing it for a couple days. Yeah. So I'm just like, damn, I wonder how this turned out. Is they trying to real Diddy in and, and get him too? Yeah, I mean, Keefe D in there telling it all, man. He ain't told it all. So they trying to connect the pieces, man. Was you, was you really at the hotel room with them? First of all, do you know Keefe D and did you know his nephew? And, you know, they're going to question him. They wanna, first, they're probably going to question him before they really take him to court. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be like, man, Pup Daddy did that shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, though, man. I hope he really said it. But I don't believe that Puffy had nothing to do with uh Tupac. It it was simple, man. I say it over and over again, man. Just simple street shit. Yeah, yeah. And there really ain't no uh big thing about it, like like you say, it's street shit. You feel me? That's it, man. It's simple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as them trying to charge Keefe for the shit, you know, hey, I think he might beat that shit, too. I think he said a little bit too much, man. Uh, but uh, in all actuality, yeah, no, he yeah, in all actuality they, they know damn well he wasn't a shooter. Yeah, for sure. They don't even know if he was there or not. I could be lying. He was there. He put himself there. Man, I was trying to sell a book, man. Get some money. <laughs> it's all good, yeah. Whatever his lawyer want to, you know, whatever the, the defense is, you know. I think that's his defense. That's the only one he could really go with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we'll see. But he was there, so that's like accessory. But accessory, I mean, I don't know what that carry in, Cal in uh, Las Vegas, but accessory is like, you know. You Damn, they're doing it. Nah, you, I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm thinking he might get about five years, man. <clears throat> that's just my rough guess. Five years, yeah. you better start taking care of yourself. He been looking crazy. Yeah, I know it. That shit stressing old Uncle Keefe out, man. You know what though? He gonna he gonna start looking a little bit better because he just yeah, was on, time on. Yeah, man. He probably was smoking cigarettes back to back. We, you know, what I'm saying like you know, because that shit was weighing heavy on him. He knew they was coming. He just didn't know when. That's probably why he was talking about this shit. It's probably been fucking with him from all them years. Yeah, but if he wouldn't have got on all them platforms, they would have stopped fucking with him once he once he did that little deposition thing. You know, he told him what really happened. Yeah, for sure. And all he had to do was shut the fuck up after that. That was it. He'd be at home right now. Yeah, so in this time today, man, tell me where you think the state of hip hop is going once again. And once you are you give me your answer, I'm gonna tell you this. State of hip hop, I think the state of hip hop is just gonna keep evolving. You know, new new things. Uh you, you know, we gonna see different styles, you know, just new new things gonna come to the forefront. But I think hip hop is gonna evolve and go forward. As far as like I don't just don't think we're gonna get back to the old school hip hop. I think right. we we'll have to accept what the new hip hop is and, and, and try to understand it and move right. forward with it. Move forward. Yeah. That's what they teaching our kids, our sons. 
Who is that? Hold on. Lil Uzi Verde. Hold on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that, yeah. Man, that could never be when we, man, that shit would have been frowned upon. They would have canceled that boy back in, in the day. Like, oh, hell no. Nah. That was yeah. weird back in the day. Yeah, he wouldn't have made it. I mean, they would have laughed. Like, back in the 90s, they would have laughed at him. It was this crazy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But nowadays, that's, what's, that's what it is, man. You know? It's that's for a younger generation, you know. I think it's going. For, it's going to keep evolving, but it's going to evolve for the worse. It ain't going to be authentic no more. You see, Drake using AI to battle niggas. You feel me? Yeah. Even though he rapping, but he ain't being authentic. It was a good idea. You feel me? Yeah. And, and, I mean, you got you still got a group of real hip hop artists. You know, I'm talking about real New York type hip hop. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got a few. Like Dave Yeah, you got a few sprinkled throughout the game, and they, and they all over from the West Coast to down south to New York. You know, you got some some more some hip hop. You know, but I just think it's gonna go. It's just going to a different level, like, and we can't understand it because it ain't our. It ain't yeah, our just generation. like yeah. the motherfuckers before our generation didn't understand the '90s hip hop. Yeah, like you know, same thing when we was when we was younger. The hip hop was, you know, what I'm saying that the older people couldn't understand where we was going with it. The NWA yeah, sure. and the, you know and shit like that took took the game by storm. They had never heard nothing like that. We had never heard nothing like NWA. Right, right. Yeah, I ain't when I heard NWA, man, that was just like it was just like what the hell? You feel me? Like niggas that was just the first gangster shit I ever seen coming from where. Yeah, me too. Like nobody was talking like that. I was listening to like Eric B and Rakim. I was listening to LL Cool J, Run DMC, Beastie Boys. These was all the people I was listening to at this time. So right. Like, when uh, NWA came out, I'm like, man, I, I used to play that shit all day, every day, man. <laughs> Birth the tape, I I, yeah, man, because I couldn't believe motherfuckers were talking like that. Yeah, man. But even when NWA broke up, like I always listen to like Easy E Feel. Yeah, me too. Easy. Yeah, I, I listen to the new NWA, like you know, the, after Cuban. Uh, who was it? Cuban Easy left. No, just yeah, Cuban. Dre. Yeah. Dre and Cube left? No, after Cube left. Uh, Cube left first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ice Cube CD, his first CD when he left him, that was that was a banger too. For sure. Ice Cube kept bangers. Classic, yeah. He's a hip-hop nigga, man. He got that hip-hop type flow. But I'm going to say... When Ice Cube went over to the East Coast and had Dog making them hard ass, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, he got. That's when. Yeah, yeah, man. I think I. That's when I really started listening to Ice Cube for real, for real, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that first CD was a motherfucker. Ice Cube. <laughs> so tell me. This is the lady I was talking about right here. Okay, what? Yeah. Hold on. Let me go back. I don't know what to do. Now, we going to look in the comments. Yeah. That you, uh, they said, now, you see that lady? Yeah. 
she like the witch of hip hop or some shit. Like, I've never seen her. Like, that's who I was talking about. Hold on. They're all fools. When you look at this, you already see what's going on. We see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Basically, saying Amigo sold they sold. Who they said they sold to? Oh, shit. To the higher ups, I guess. And they saying takeoff was a sacrifice. I don't believe that. Me neither. I hate the way this world has come up with all these conspiracy. I mean, the biggest conspiracy theory in time was Tupac ain't dead. <laughs> right. But now we know Tupac is dead, man. Tupac to us is like the white people Elvis. The Elvis, right. They can't let it go. And motherfuckers probably still think Pac is alive. Yeah. Yeah, I'm over believing that shit. I remember I had a deep belief in that shit. I don't believe in it no more. No. It's hard for me to be, uh, believe conspiracy because I, I had to see it from my own eyes. Right, right. Like, you know, it, like something like that. Right, you got to see it for your own two eyes. You know what I'm yeah, like I can't, I can't just, you know, because like, you know, I, I just believe like shit happened. Like it happened. It's just street shit, man. Motherfuckers shooting dice, tempers flare. That shit can happen anywhere, man. And that's just what happened, man. It just be the streets. Them niggas, like, hip-hop is street. It's the streets. Yeah, man. And sometimes that's how it be happening in life, man. When you're dealing with the streets. I mean, if Pac could have just uh, been an artist instead of trying to be a gang-banging, you know, thug-down nigga for his niggas and shit like that, Right. He's still here. Exactly. His loyalty is too built into being a, a gang member instead of uh, who he really was. Exactly. I believe. And he wasn't even really. He wasn't even a gang member. No, nah, he wasn't. So, yeah. but you know, he had the mob tattooed on him. Right. The ring mob. When I was a young nigga, I thought that was money over bitches. You feel me? Yeah. That's but it's growing up. I, I see what it is now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So, you got something, man? Uh, I know you got oh, something good. Oh, what do you think about the, the guy uh, in, the young, in the Young Thug trial when he's like, uh, take me oh, back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about that? But, Hold on, which one? Uh, I'm high or the nigga? The well, why y'all even got me up here? Yeah, take yeah. Me, take me back to prison. I'm ready to go back to prison. Prison for real? You feel yeah. me? Yeah, I, I, I was like, damn, this nigga. He he turned this story all the way around. He like, fuck this shit, man. Yeah, take me back to prison, man. I don't even know why y'all woke me up and brought me here, man. Yeah, he said, I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know what yeah. yeah. I don't even know nobody here. <laughs> yeah. Why y'all keep trying to make that man my friend? Yeah, for real. That's what the fuck he post said the first time. Right, exactly. That's all you gotta say to them bitches. I know I know them white people. I, well, excuse me. I know them people in the courtroom, like for the prosecution and shit, I know they was pissed. You know it. You know they was. Hell yeah. You know they was. Like, he keep trying to get, you know, what he trying to get up out of him, but dog is not going. You know what I'm saying? He was not going. He's standing on business. So how you feel about gun? Do you think gun is Yeah. Yeah, he did because he clarified, you know, 
it's YSL gang. Yes. Uh, you know, you know, just clarifying. Did you see this or did you see that? You know, he was clarifying their story. So he was clarifying the prosecution story. Yeah, yeah but I think I, somebody was talking about it and I looked at it like he really didn't do shit but plead to a plead out to a case. You feel me? He took he copped the plea. You feel me? He copped the plea, but he said he was, You gotta do that when you cop the plea. You gotta admit to what you did. You feel me? Well he was a musician. All he did was made music. He wasn't a part you know, he wasn't no he wasn't a part of that. That shit they had going on with Lucci and them, he wasn't a part of that. Nah, ain't that nigga like a crip or something? I heard he was like a crip. I don't know. Yeah, but I went and went on those stand. You feel me? I'm I mean, an artist on my self. If you cop a plea, you got to. You know what I'm saying? So. I guess that was a part of it. So I mean, but that that's ratting. I mean, I uh, y'all would have had to give me a plea without that in there, right? And then right. if I had to tell my involvement, man, I was just an artist, man. I I went to the studio. I, yeah, maybe I did see a little weed. You know what I'm saying? I might have seen a gun or two. I ain't saying who had them or, but yeah, I seen a couple. But as far as like. Gang banging, I don't gang bang. Right. The YSL is, is is young stoner life. You feel me? Shit like that. It was a way to answer it. You just agreed, like, yeah, it's a gang, and yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of that's snitching to me. So, um, I want to I wanted to ask you this, man. I know we we ain't been on in a while, life been life, and you feel me. So, Tay Savage was in a party. John Wick was in the party. He got shot up. Next thing you know, a week or two later, however long, he locked up. Like, you feel like, because they say everybody that come on J-Man interview with your book. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what you think, man? Tay Savage needs to stay out them trenches. Yeah, that's exactly what needs to happen. That's you know, and then like them two weeks that went by, all that was was uh, his PO waiting until he report. Yeah, because they were saying that he was doing interviews and shit, basically traveling out of state without letting them know. Yeah, which is which you know. I can understand, but shit, I probably would have slid too for a bag. Like, fuck that. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's what this shit is about at the end of the day, man. Y'all want me out here to make crime, so I'm working. Yeah, y'all want these motherfucking fees and shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, but he need to stay out them trenches, though, man, and, and, and stick to getting his money and shit. And then when he do his interviews, he just need to have him come to wherever, like, if he don't live inside the city, he need to go book a, a hotel somewhere or get a space, have them niggas come to Chicago, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Or Illinois, wherever, wherever he is. Yeah. But I definitely wouldn't be in the trenches like that. No. Speaking of trenches, man, where where's Trenches News at, man? I ain't heard from him since the trial. Uh, I think he got a new interview coming up on Vlad. I think. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he, be on Vlad. Look after that. He, has, he ain't never been on Vlad. Have he? I don't think so. How you feel about you see that Quando Rondo interview on No Jumper? Nope, it's a new one. Yeah, man. It's like every, all the things that go on No Jumper. They did some afterwards. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, and I ain't seen Butter lately making no noise. No. Neither. What was the last thing I seen? I don't, I don't remember, man. He's been kind of quiet, too. 
Man, niggas be out here like this, man. Man, what's wrong with Gino, man? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga going crazy, dog. <laughs> Looking like somebody hurt you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's big, man, having all that paper, man. And yeah, then, and then losing it. Yeah, that's how you like that. I know some niggas like that too. Yeah. I seen but, niggas in the street lose it like that. But that's crazy though, like how you lose it like that. You feel me? Like you can always make some more paper, man. Yeah. But it'd be hard to get up once the game changed and you ain't got those same relationships. The people you had relationships with is they they moved on to other shit now. Now it's people you don't know in the, in them positions, right? You just can't make no connections. Shit, it's hard to get back up. Yeah, you right, especially on some on black ball type shit. Yeah, yeah, especially for the niggas who getting black ball. You hear know I me? Mean? So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, do you feel like it's right? Do you do you feel like it's right for him to ask his daughter for money or ask her for help? Shit, yeah. I'm hell. I mean, shit. How fuck up, shit? Let's try to get a couple dollars, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's just normal shit that go on in normal life. You feel me? Like, Benzino really living a real life right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it might look weird to other motherfuckers, but he really living a regular life now. Yeah. So shit, that ain't regular to some motherfuckers. Now, this new culture, you feel me? They feel like, oh, they dragging him from asking his daughter, but I've been taking care of this girl her whole life. Yeah. yeah. She, where is she at because of me? If I wouldn't have been Benzino, who the hell would she would have been? Exactly. Truthfully, let's be honest. That's for real. That's uh, yeah. And she should and she should think about that, you know, and you know, but deep down she know it. You know? Yeah, for sure. For sure she know it, man. You can't you can't diss your pops, man. Especially if the nigga been there. Right. So, uh, damn, what I was gonna say, uh, let me go back to it. Okay, Meek Mill been real, he been posting a lot lately, he been posting a lot more than ever since this he didn't shit then came out. But do you feel like his rap career is over with? No, I mean, you think it's like because he ain't sell too many records. Well, strange. His strange is just down. Yeah, nah. Uh, Meek Mill be straight, man. You know, once all this shit come out, because to tell you the truth, man, I don't think they really got nothing on Diddy. No, nah, Jack Wild Wright said that was Meek Mill on that tape, man. How, I mean, but she can't confirm that. She can say what she believes, but. She said Nicki Minaj recorded that shit, man, in Calabasas. What? <laughs> yeah. Nicki Minaj recorded that shit in Calabasas, and and she ain't released it. And now all this stuff coming out, she paid somebody to release it. That's what they said. Yeah, well, you know. I'm just waiting, man. Like, this shit is so wild that I'm just waiting to see the outcome, man. So tell me what you think about Jaguar White and all the allegations that she's making about these her, people. Her like theories, I mean, some of her theories, man, it'd be, it be fucking me up. Far, yeah, it'd be far-fetched. It, no, nah, some of her theories be, be like, make me think, like, damn, that sounds true. For sure, like she said, uh, Jay Z got Diddy out the way. 
that's what this is going. This shit that's going on now. Yeah. You see, Jigga real quiet. You don't hear nothing from that nigga. He got Diddy. He got somebody else. She said, "Dame Dash." And and Aaliyah, yeah. And she went and offered to a whole story about the Aaliyah situation. I'm pretty sure you know about it. Uh, that's crazy. Aaliyah didn't want to get on that plane, man, and uh, because the uh, Hype Williams, I the way I heard it is Jay Z had Hype Williams charter her that plane that was only. He was supposed to charter her a, a regular plane, but he got that one. And that yeah, was only a luggage. Plan. Yeah, it was only a luggage. That was supposed to carry all her shit, not passengers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah. Hype Williams was the video director. He was the director of the video, so he was supposed to, you know, take care of the artist. Make sure she yeah, had to have been there, too. Who was His ass folks been in the plane too. How he ain't on the plane with the artist? No, they said he charged the, the plane for her and he got on it and and took off. Damn. And left her at the island. And then so she had somewhere else she had to be. So that was the only plane there. Damn. You know, like, yeah, so some of the shit, man, it, it, it sounds. It sounds crazy, but it sounds right. Don't sound crazy. Yeah. All to boost Beyonce, start them up. Yeah. Basically. Right. When she went solo and broke from Destiny's Child, then that's when all this shit took place. And now she the solo, then her and Jay Z break on the scene with that Bonnie and Clyde shit. Yeah, um, damn, that was that long ago? Yeah. Yeah, Aaliyah died in, like, uh, 2001. Yeah, that, that's crazy, man. The industry is a motherfucker, man. The industry is demonic, man. It's a lot of evil ritual, Satan shit that go on in there. It's crazy. That's what that lady is. Yeah. She one of them. You feel me? Don't nothing look good about her. You feel right. me? <laughs> <laughs> nothing looks good. She, so, yeah, nothing looks good about her. So she like a Illuminati type. Yeah, she just like the evil spirit of her music. You feel me? All them industry rap niggas like like Migos and a couple of them niggas, man, Jay Z. I like to hear. I like to hear her. What she got to say then? Who? That lady. I know, but you don't never hear shit on her. Yeah, I know she got some shit to say. Yeah, you just can't never hear shit on her, man. So I was. I've been watching a lot of uh, Tupac interviews and. Shit like that. I don't know why I'm going back on top there. Do you think, like, when Pop came to death row, all the niggas was jealous of Pop? Mm. No, I think I think um, they was happy. I think they was more or less geek to have him around. You know, I think it, you know, I think they was geek to have him around. Because Tupac was the hottest thing. You know, he was the hottest nigga at that time. So, you know, I think I think what it did was pump the label, pump them niggas up. And that's why they started doing stupid shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> when Pac was around, it was just live all the time. And we got all the pills. We got all the weed. We got all the drink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... So I think it turned them up. I think it turned the label up. You know, and then like they said, man, after the label turned up, Suge started moving more like a gangbanger instead of a businessman. For sure. And that was their downfall. 
Yeah, I could believe that, man. I could believe that. But I heard that them niggas was jealous. After a while, Pac started getting, you know, more attention. Niggas' albums kept getting delayed, pushed back. Because Pac got this going on. Uh, a lot of inside shit. Because Pac is sure close. Other motherfuckers want to be close. Yeah, you feel it me? Makes sense. It makes sense. I can see that. I can see that happening. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I just think it was immense, you know, let's not forget the pocket snoop. There was a lot of internal bullshit going on with that. Yeah. Yeah. But Snoop bringing Death Row back. I see you got Danny Boy back on there doing his thing. Him, Corrupt, that, uh, Dad, drop some new shit. I think though, would you know that's cool and all, but I think they should go for some younger artists. You know, it's it's a lot of young, hungry talent out there on the west. Yeah, and, for uh, sure. I really think they could bring Death Row back in a new, yeah, in a new type way. You feel me? That should be his focus. Put Young Nate Dog down, sound him. Yeah, that should be his focus. You know, you ain't heard Nate Dog sound. Nope. You got to go check him out, man. In hell. Like Nathaniel Hill. Like Nate Dog, man. Yeah, yeah. But it's in, yeah. Go check him out, man. He sounds just like his pops, man. Oh, yeah. They got to they gotta give him a deal then. You know. <laughs> Warren, they need to, uh, Warren G need to be in there on production. Yeah. Um. You know, they, they you know they need to get some people around, man. Get some young talent, man, and let them boys go. Yeah, I think uh, Shug Saudi, he Saudi that should, uh, Snoop running death row right now. Oh yeah, hell yeah, he's sitting up in there, man. He he mad as hell, but I mean, you had it, you had it, man. You just nigga shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Know, like, why is you on these people set acting crazy? Yeah, niggas will fuck up a hundred million dollars like it ain't shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. He, he, he really crashed out. Yeah, on some real shit, he crashed out by killing that man or running him over. That's that's vehicular homicide, right? But they slammed him for that shit, man. Yeah. They ain't nothing but five years for real. But you know why? Because uh, he was on probation. Oh. Yeah, at the time of, of the incident. Oh, and we talking about Sue and Nike, though. Yeah. They've been trying to get him on something. Right. Yeah. Ever since the Pac shit. Yeah. That's why they... Man, they put the man, how long he did, like 10 years in the joint behind kicking a nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. So, yeah, they been had it out for sure, man. But, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. Let me uh hit y'all with this shit right here because I ain't have it up. Follow that shit at the bottom, man. You know you know what I'm saying, man? You got anything else to add, man? Hey, man, to the next time, man. At no name underscore 3.0. Yeah, follow man. Yeah, follow all that, follow that, follow all that, that shit at the bottom. Yeah. And, yep, until next time, man. It's all love. Man, we out in the trenches.